Hi everybody, today we're going to take a look at Poll Everywhere. This is a fantastic software that you can use. It's free. It has some uh, pay options as well. But this is great for making interactive presentations in your uh, Google Slides presentations, whatever it is. Uh, so we're going to get started here. Go ahead and go to Log, or sorry, go to Poll Everywhere, and go ahead and select the Login option, and just sign in with Google which you should be able to do with your AU account. I'm going to sign in with my personal Gmail account, but you go ahead and sign in with your AU account. Now, once you're inside, you will see you can download presentation software to start the download of this for your computer. Now, you can also go to the Chrome extension store and download it directly onto your browser or just simply select the Google Slides uh, image here or the link here, and that will allow you to download it to be able to use in Google Slides. Now, for the sake of time, I've already downloaded it into my slides, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Once you have done that and added Chrome extension for Poll Everywhere, you'll see there will be an option here on your menu bar for Poll Everywhere. And this will allow you to put and insert slides into your PowerPoint or Google Slides, for instance. So for here, for Poll Everywhere, you can either insert a new activity or you can insert an activity which you have already created uh, on your personal Poll Everywhere account. Now. I'm going to go back here for a second just into Poll Everywhere now that I'm signed in so you can see what it looks like on the inside. So when you create right here, when you create a poll, it will pop up underneath here one at a time as they appear below you. Now, when you create the question, you can edit the question, you can duplicate the question. In order for the question to be eligible to be answered or responded to by your students, you have to click the icon here. And notice it, it, it's got a green hue to it that will demonstrate to you or, or tell you that that is in fact uh, ready to be shown to your students and active for them to respond. Now here in Poll Everywhere, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and create uh, different polls. So when you go to Create, you'll see different options will pop up. So the multiple choice option is very simple. What, sky, what color is the sky, for instance? And you drop in your answers A, B, C. So we'll go ahead and do that actually. What color is the sky? And then we throw in our options here, blue, red, add an option for green, and add option for orange. And then we want to make sure that we highlight which one of our options is correct. And once we have done that, we scroll down here to the bottom and we simply select the create option. Now, uh, again, you can add in images if you would like. That can be an answer response instead of, for instance, text. You hit create. And then this will allow you to go in and edit the question. This is what it will show, show you here, how to activate it, where your students will go. You can see my URL uh, here is where students will go to activate this account. I'm sorry, I activate it, where they go to respond. And to do that, you just simply would select the activate option. And now notice it tells the students how to respond. It gives them the option to respond via the website itself, or they can text to uh, this number, text your name and code to this number here, and then they can select that on their phone or even on a computer, for instance. Uh, again, make sure your question is activated and make sure you are not showing the correct answer on the screen. Make sure you have that closed off. You can select how people respond, the audience restrictions. I would just leave it wide open to everybody. You can test it before you send it. And then also the present option here allows you to go ahead and just how are you going to present it, etc. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and hit edit and then save. And you should be good to go with your polls. Now we back out here, we go to the polls. You'll notice what color is the sky and it is now active. Other options for you if you want to create something, for instance, a word cloud, a question and answer, a clickable image is great. For instance, uh, I, do, I taught social studies. So I would pull up here on the map uh, different options of what you can do. Now I'm going to go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you which state is Ohio. When I go to edit, I've actually already done this question. You can see I've been able to identify which state is Ohio. And now I just simply drag, dragged in my placeholders here to allow for my answer options. To do that, all you do is double click on any spot on the map and you can size that. And then you see right here, another option pops up. I'm just gonna call this option E. But again, I have to make sure my option A for Ohio is correct. I hit save. And now that question is good to go. With the map, I can also activate that. 
but notice it's only going to allow me to activate one pole at a time. So that's important to remember when you're doing this because it can be very challenging if you have multiple of them in a row to have to go back and activate them. So you can do that actually in the present Google Slides presentation or PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So here we are back in a Google Slides presentation and I'm going to show you how to insert a Pull Everywhere item directly into your Slides presentation. So notice up here on the Pull Everywhere option, we're going to go ahead and select Pull Everywhere, Insert Activity. Now you're going to notice it's going to pull up all your questions just like you have here in your account for Pull Everywhere. The Google Slides presentation, when you select the Pull Everywhere option, will give you all the different activities that you have here. So if I want to put in, for instance, the Which Color is the Sky option, I go ahead, I hit insert activity, and now this will automatically put it into your slides presentation. Now when it comes up, you're going to notice this doesn't really do anything for you, but you'll see in the four corners here, think of this almost as like thumbtacks. This is essentially a placeholder for your question. It's not active yet, so if you have your students trying to answer this question, they're not going to be able to find anything. The only way to activate and do this is have your presentation on full screen mode. As you see, you have to go to present mode. Give it a second and these options will come up. Now you see here, this is already active because I made it active in my account. But notice in here, you can choose to activate or not activate right here in your slides presentation, that specific poll. Here again is the information for your students, how to access it. If you want to go to visual settings, you can manipulate the layout. So instead of it being a bar chart here to the left, you can have the information display on a column chart from the bottom. A donut chart if you would like. You can mess around with the settings in terms of how it looks. You can go to the dark look. You can go to the classic look. Whatever it is that you would like. Uh, that's up to you. Purely up to you. However you want to do that. And just always make sure that I'm going to go ahead and say record. Notice when I hit escape again, notice I've gone back and nothing is being recorded there. So it works out really, really well uh, for you related to that. The second option again is if you want, you can do the insert activity. I'm going to go ahead and do that again just real quick. I'm just going to insert my map, which state is Ohio. I'm going to insert that activity. Or if you don't want to insert, or maybe you're on the fly and in the class and you want to do something right on the spot, or you want to conduct, for instance, an opinion poll, poll everywhere, new activity. This will give you the same exact menu option as you had inside a poll everywhere. So right here, I'll just simply do. Uh, what is a used mascot? We'll go eagle, turtle, uh, whatever, devil, and of course now I can't think of one, tigers, there we go. And of course we all know the mascot is an eagle, so I hit the insert option. And now this will insert the slide directly right into my presentation. Again, when I have to go to full screen mode to activate the questions, when I'm in here, give it a second, it'll pop up, just be patient, activate if I want. So now once I have that responses, I can go ahead and move over to my next question. Notice it's active as already for you, which is really, really nice. So when the students, for instance, in here, they can click here and it'll tell you if it's right or wrong. Now this is not what it's gonna look like for them on the screen. So I'm gonna show you here in a second what it looks like from the student perspective. This is just your perspective as the teacher. And again, here you go. You can respond right here on this website here or the texting option here. So now that you've seen what this looks like from the student, I'm sorry, from your perspective, I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the student perspective and then what it looks like here inside of Google Slides when the students have actually gone ahead and answered. We have seen what it looks like from the student perspective. We're going to go ahead, I'm sorry, from the presentation perspective. We're going to go ahead and go in and see what it looks like from the uh, professor or the student perspective when they're actually in here doing this. So now you're going to go in and what you'll notice is I have what color is the sky, which is just simply a question that I have here, which we inserted into our Google Slides presentation right here, question one. So now notice this is what it looks like for the students. So they would just simply select when they want to respond to this, which color is the sky? We'll say blue. So now you have a response from a student. So now once you have this open, remember you can leave this open on the screen in full time, or excuse me, in presentation mode for your students. Notice the results for the question will appear to the students and to you here in front of the class in real time. So as the students are answering, 
this screen here will populate with the specific answers. And then you go ahead and show the correct answer to demonstrate that the question was correct. If we move to our next slide, which state is Ohio? Notice this poll automatically becomes active. So now when I go back to my student view, notice it has changed for the students exactly which one it is. So it has now automatically updated. So now the student is viewing the second question, which state is Ohio? I'm going to go ahead and select here. Okay, well, that's not good, right? Is it? I don't know. We'll, okay, we'll go ahead and put here. Now, again, going back, excuse me, go back to your slides. We'll open up the presentation. And now we can see exactly where these pins are being dropped. So it's really pretty cool because what it does is it allows you, come on, it allows you to, there we go. So as you can give it a second because sometimes it can lag. So you'll see here was where the pin that I dropped was located. So as your students begin to populate on the map where it was located, you're good to go. It's really a pretty nice feature for that. So now that you've seen what the Poll Everywhere slides look like from the teacher perspective, now you've seen what it looks like on the student's computer screen right here. Now, how to determine if things are right or wrong. As students enter their name uh, to register for your specific activity or activity poll question, whatever it is you want to call it, you'll see in here all the questions that you've created or all the polls, I should say, that you've created all appear in here. When there's a response, you can just simply see right here, it'll tell you one response. You can go ahead and click on it. And did the student get the correct answer or not? So you could actually go ahead and, and grade these and make it some sort of formative assessment or maybe even a summative assessment. That's up to you. So it, it, it's really, really nice because it allows you to go in and see which students are getting it wrong or which students are getting it right. So maybe you don't always grade it or maybe you do it randomly just to hold students accountable. But it's very, very nice. As you can see, what color is the sky? Again, I go into this and I can see the correct answers. Did this student get it correct or not? Now, unfortunately, with the free version of Poll Everywhere, you are not going to be able to necessarily grade a whole bunch of these at one time. So it's, it's going to kind of potentially maybe limit what you want to do uh, in terms of that and how you want to grade. So just think about that, how many you would like to in terms of assessments used. And that's really it. Once you have done that and you've played around with it, they can really be inserted into any one of your slides presentations or PowerPoint presentations. It's up to you how you want to use it. But this is a fantastic tool, Poll Everywhere is, to create an interactive environment where your students aren't just sitting there passively while you're doing a presentation on information. They can actively engage and answer questions along the way. This can be used for a pop quiz. This could be used for opinion polls to gather information or maybe about controversial topics or social justice issues, things of that nature, you can throw in here and gauge student opinion and have them go back and forth. Use, again, use images. What does this image represent to you, for instance? And you give them options, adjectives that they choose from, whatever it is. But Poll Everywhere is really great. It's free. There's additional software you can purchase with it to go a little bit more in depth. But for what we want to do, especially for this course, this free version is fantastic. And I highly recommend that you use this. So you can use either this option. There's also another program called Pear Deck, or you can use the interactive flashcards, which is a tutorial for you as well uh, for this hypermedia project and the presentation software project. So if you have any questions, let me know. But hopefully you're able to dabble and, and use Poll Everywhere in your teaching.